I don't like it really, so stop talking about it. I didn't say it once, but since you brought it up, I'm going to average heaps more than it. Yeah, at that price? Two. At that price, two. At that price. At that price. At that price. No one. No one. Two. That is going to win. Too late. Whoa! Too hot. Too hot. They keep on asking me if Tom DeCone is going to be the ruckman. It's not. Not yet. Yeah, not even a, he's not the best ruckman in car. I want to see Gibneys and Chessers. I want to see these. You're not going to be seeing much of Chessers. Oh, 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 Francis. I just got Francis. I just got Kukar. Doesn't care. Tom Mitchell doesn't. There's some tongue on the ball. Tom Mitchell kicks the winning goal and he's got 140. Vice captain right now. Welcome back to Supercoach Masters. My name is George and I'm with the big stinky sexy Matics. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, ooh. <laughs> Oh, the big, sticky, sexy Matt Zeebs, and alongside here is the big, hairy, smelly, slimy Jaws. You're, s- you're slimy. No, Jaws. Well, what's happening, champ? Did you cut your first gym donut this year? <laughs> I can't, yes, I copped a minute. Welcome donut. to the club, champ. Welcome to the club. First run up for Matty Gazeeds' team. Um, yeah, champ, it was just all in disarray when I had Dunkley still not coming back. Lloyd's got concussion. Tom Green now pulled a hammy. Um, who else? Steve Cam came out. Tom Mitchell, my boy, my bet is now forfeited because Tom Mitchell has now put the sub best Go on you, Tommy. Yeah, and dude. he really pissed me off. Um, then you had the big blunders in Ron Marshall getting 58s, Sinclair's getting 67s. George, I was unmanaged. Is that your, to, oh, yeah. For a second, I, I thought no, that was your team. I managed to scrape in like 2100. Just nice. I no. got a zero, and I got, got Ward Law injured on the oh, field. Oh yeah, you, you like that one? Oh uh, well, but we're doing it for you guys because we I <laughs> look. I don't think anyone's watching, so fuck you, everybody. Because this I watch it. Uh, we've got a couple of people doing good. A uh, couple of yeah, they're the only ones that are watching. Like some if, people are not even watching for Supercoach. Just if, here to if see I was us. If I, was, if I wasn't doing the podcast shorts, I would not be watching you at all. <laughs> like, you bring nothing but shit. I news. actually give all good advice. I'm starting to hate those assholes at Supercoach Masters, Jaws. We Are just you talking about because of the updates? Of all the, the updates of well, the bad news. I'm giving to you first. Oh, no, you, get, it, you get them first, and I just wish they're never true. I'm like, Speaking of getting to me first, you know, like, um, Wahab, the king, um, the king yeah. he's, he's firmly and very implanted into his cash leagues, and he messages me about all the players that he wants to do shit. And then I, every time I look at my phone, I, he's like bagging one of the players I have and he's like yeah. laughing and it makes me so fucking angry. Wow. <laughs> Who was he's, just, he was like, oh. he's like, yes, Wardlaw, ha ha ha. Like, <laughs> Wardlaw's injured, I'm going to be so angry. And so he's, he's letting you know. But yeah, Champa, hopefully there's a lot of ins this week. Hope Lloyd comes back. Mitchell doesn't get the vest. I, I, think, him, I, think he's I used my last trade because Tom Green had to go. I was going to wait and just cop another zero. I thought, no, nah, I've got to give him my percentage. Bit of respect. But Chera did just the shit. I wish I didn't get Adam Chera for uh, Tom Green. I and, he might, and he might miss this week. Oh, perfect. That's what it's we good. want to hear. He's a hamstring tightness. At least it's not a ripped hamstring. Yeah, no, at least, at least. Speaking um, of hamstrings, i still got Clary on the bench and I'm going <laughs> to hold him all year. Jam, but hey, Clary, if you really want to surprise me, this is the week, buddy. No, I don't think he's got a hamstring, champ. But let's keep going on. Let's George. keep going because I've got some... Uh, what do you got for us today, George? I've got some coffee shouts that I want to get into because I want to get into it right now because these are the guys that I'm coming in for. Yeah. And it is yeah. Craig Los Pistolas, two coffees, super coach, fucking masters. Here's a couple of more peanut lattes for the pair of you legends. <laughs> I think I'm going to make like a jumper, like a peanut jumper. So oh. at that price, I'm going to pick your peanut oh, yeah. at with the a, bottom. With a coffee. Don't forget, lads, Geordie, donuts are perfect with a shot of coffee. That oh, is true. That's so true. So I do appreciate that, Craig. I love and donuts. Mate, I'm having donuts every week, so... Oh, yeah, you are. Oh, um, yeah, you are, champion. You know, you're still fit. still all right. It's still not too bad. Um, yeah, what else we got? The big, here? bad Ocker. Big Kyle oh, Ocker. He goes, hey, Marcy, here's a couple of skinny lattes for you, champion. You're going to need them. because you're Oh, I'm not going to need them. For you boys to go with some slim scores. Some of the premiums have been punched now. With one of the trades left, is tempting to get rid of a few of the low-scoring ones. Decam, Tex, Ridley, Mills, Walsh. But holding firm until someone goes down long term, I think that's a good idea. Good idea, good Oka. Idea. I just had to double check. You said Tex, right? That's you not a premium. <laughs> He's not Tex a premium. Or Oka. He must be on the bench. Surely, Ox. But yeah, thanks for that, big Oka. And they're the two kick signs. I almost said it again, Maddie. Yeah. I don't even know why we're still swearing <laughs> anyway. Yeah. But we'll put up the leaderboard for you guys because we can see it right now here. Um, Aqua's firmly in the top two now. Maddie with the Wahabi, number one. Have a look at yourself, guys. Especially. If you're there, congratulations. If you're not, look at yourself in the mirror. 
Now, Maddie, what are we going to get into this week? I want to talk about something straight off the bat that's not even on the agenda. And we're going to talk about who's in front of our league because we have not spoken about that for, I reckon, a good six months. Um, sure, Maddie. Looking at our legs, I don't know if you can put this graphic up, George, um, but we've got number one coming out of nowhere. He just went berserk. He's now, Bont is overrated. I'm sure he's not on the list, but he's number one. That brings Didac drive-bys SEM. He's looking pretty. He's looking good, Didac. Pretty good. Get on your poorly. Um, looking at his plays, he's got a decent enough team. No injuries really on there. Doesn't even have butters, so he's got a full team. Dunkley should come back in to help Didac maybe take the first spot. Champ, I'm going to tell you real honestly, I don't give a fuck about Paul's team right now. I wasn't talking about Paul's team, I was talking about Derek's no, drive-by. That's Paul's team. Paul. And then we got the Tiger <laughs> team. <laughs> Whose team do we care is that, about? Is that what we're doing? We've got for everyone's oh, just, team? Well, we haven't seen it. I think people need to know where, where they're at with the, because this is a cash prize. Champ. I see Chester on the field, Champ. I don't want to see anything Chester's else. Chester's on the shoot because of Darkly. Anyway, we've got Tiger Times coming in third. Um, you don't need to give a shit about your own league that you're going to give these. No, guys I money. do, but you know they're going to the top three changes every week. You're going to read out all the teams in the top three. I'm just saying, but well, Dynax and Tiger Times have been top three for the last long time since. But champ, seen. it's a, it's a long way to the top if you want those prizes, guys. That's so right. keep at it, Matty. Okay. Yeah, you keep it going because go I really, really want to talk about these CBAs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, without the CBAs, none of these Without Family Jew, the CBAs are coming in, and bam, we've got it on the big screen. The big CBA movers, I'm glad it's a little very short today because I'm so tired. We've got Ben Keys. Why are you Jam. tired? You don't do anything all day. Champ, I did a lot today. you got no idea what I did today. I no I do. I have absolutely all, right. all I do. You've done nothing. I've done a lot. Maybe not in the first hour, but I've done a lot. All right. Bro. All right, Ben Keys. <laughs> ben Keys plus 75. Uh, CBA is good on him. That's good. Uh, he did butcher the ball a bit, but that is promising to see Keys owners. Matty, next They one. got killed. Yeah, it's promising to see that they he had... Adelaide lost to someone shit. GWS. Um, GWS. Uh, Took Miller comes out of nowhere. That's good. He's got a new Should coach. Yeah. He's got a new coach. Win Hager. Jamie will be laughing at Win Hager's 90. He scored this week. Yeah, Win Hager um, did score pretty good. Taylor Adams obviously taking Tom Mitchell's spot in the guts and Penman's. Good for Maltese. <laughs> Good for the Maltese. Max Gorn, of course, oh, is going to wow. get a 91% boost. Without, Do you think Grundy's going to play a game after that? I think they might try to see if they can maybe revive that so they are, the, the Tap Brothers. Because if they can't, they're going to have to get rid of him. He's not going to be a Tap Brother. He's, they're going to train him as a forward. Okay, well, it's they're going to try him in the team again at some point, I reckon. And I reckon it's not going to work out. So, obviously, with your boy, Sheldrick, not in, Goulden takes a bit more peace of the midfield pie. I love a good um, midfield pie. And Josh Kelly, obviously, from him getting tagged the fuck out of last week. Uh, got a couple of more CBAs. So Tom um, Green was out as well. So. And also that too. So there you go. Ones that got dropped, obviously, Matty Johnson, Jared Lyons, Tanner Brute, Sam Walsh. Sam Walsh is an interesting one. Went down 18%. It's not what you want to see. It keeps on going up and down with Sam Walsh. It's, you can never mm. get any good consistency. Well, George Hewitt was, a, was not on the bench. Uh, maybe George Hewitt did. Steal some of your CBAs mm. in that game. You got, got a full was out in that same game. So you was hoping Sam Walsh would say about the same. Matty Johnson is the most concerning one if you're still holding on to him for cover. Uh, because Sarong was out, you'd think he would go, anything could go up, not down. Aisha's so. been doing more tagging roles in the last couple of weeks. So Aisha's been getting a lot more CBAs in that Frio midfield. And plus, I think Amira obviously came back in a couple of weeks, but he's sharing the ball around and timing the guts for the Frio Dockers champ. Um, are we glad? That the CBA is now over. What do you mean? Because it was uh, we're done. What's next? Well, why would we be glad about that? Ingo knows. Yeah. Ingo <laughs> doesn't know shit. Ingo right? knows everything. <laughs> um, that one of our viewers that still still keeps in tune. What else do you want to talk about today, Jam? Let's talk about your mid prices because I need to feel like I need a bit to be perked up a bit, and oh, I yeah. want to see something worth talking about, maybe. And if you've got trades. And you want to, and you got trades. For some reason, you want to blow on on something stupid. Let's go to Maddie's mid price madness. Jeb, it's not Why that bad. Why am I seeing Hawkins again? Jeb, again, look at he's wearing a suit. Jeb, I think that's good enough to know that Tom Hawkins. Well, look what he scored. He went berserk this week. Um, oh, it's gonna go like you think maybe J Cam or Hawkins, but Hawkins, he's in real top form. He went berserk, Jeb, and for four fifteen, he's already lost hundred. His break even's pretty low, thirty seven. Playing Brisbane Lions, but he got 127 against the Bombers this week. Um, and there What's are, his break even? Uh, 37 ish. She's over, yeah, okay. Something like that? Yep. Yeah. Um, is that where is it? Yeah, 32. Even lower than that. Yep. 
Um, why do you got it at 61? Champ, his break even is not 61. Champ, it's 32. Yeah, so that's what will be on the screen. So I don't know what the hell you're talking about. So, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. So Jordy just made up and he's going to edit that one out. Number two, Champ, so what do you think of Tom Wilkins? I do not want to use one of my last trades on him. Me either, Champ. Now, the, now I... This is Champ. just a bit of a preview to your number two. Are you, Let's are look you stupid? Let's look at him. It's Mr. Carl Amon. Now, isn't he a superstar? Look, he's got the thumbs up. His head is way bigger than his body. Um, for 415, he's been this playing a, pretty well. This is, a, this is, uh, it's like, if, is this April fucking Fool's Day? In bloody Jam, it's, it's round 19. And if you want to win and be a big point of difference... If in- anyone trades in Carl Amon, their team will get worse. No. If you had a free trade to get Carl Amon... Uh, like, what's James, so good what, about him? He got a 96 and 113 against GW West and North Melbourne. He's ready. He's, well, he's re- ready for what? He's ready to get that. He's not even that far off his starting price. He was like 500k. Now he's like, what, 420 years? Yeah, but he's in form. The role is different. He got 33 touches. The role's the same. The- he's still playing on the wing. 33 touches and a goal against North Melbourne with 12. Mark. He just knows what he's doing. Jones. Oh, <laughs> yes. Look at his face. You have no idea what you're Jeff, doing. look at his face. I have checked out a long time ago, guys. But Carl Amon. Draws you the face. I, I can't even. Chat, look at him. Why are you <laughs> recommending people? Look Carl at him. Amon? You can't be serious. You, hey, Carl, what do you reckon? You never consider this. Do you, do you want to get me in your team, Carl Amon? Carl, what do you got to say on that? Thumbs up, Jules. Carl Let's Amon. go to the number one because at least we're a bit, we're, at least we're in serious territory now. With that, we've got the last out of the way. Uh, no, Chad, George, you are, come on. How can you not? 353, he's already lost. I oh, know. Um, the role's there. Can he keep <laughs> the getting... The wig is there. The wig is there. Can he keep getting those games and stringing them? Nice side was trade for a nice Seamus Mitchell or a Sheldrick. It's not even sideways. You make 100k. You make some money. You make 100k if you trade Seamus there Mitchell you go. to Georgia Hill. Get him in as a bench cover for sure. If only it was a forward, whatever. But that's still, that's perfect. Oh, that is such a good price for you. Get him is. in right now. Get him in if you had him, champ. That's very nice. And I'll and those are the three dorks that I've got up for my mid price. Don't hate it, Matty. Are we going to even talk about English and what he did to every non English <laughs> owner <laughs> or Gorn and what he did are we, to the rest of us? I thought we're not allowed to use the R word anymore. We're not allowed to use the R word, and we never were allowed to use the oh, R word. Really? <laughs> that's not what I was told. Uh, but anyway, well, yes. Tim English yeah. absolutely pulled our pants down. <laughs> like, Maddie, come what? On. Okay, what? He did. He did. He did. And he, what he did. What he did, he just played against McLean. And uh, we all, we, we, when you straight up, I even said to Jamie, I go, man, I'll be, I'll be that confident when we saw Hickey out. Just put the straight C on him. Yeah, but then some people, I saw someone put a v, VC on Tim English, then put the captain on Gorn. Well, that is that, that's, stupid. Yeah. I uh, know, but I don't go on 215. Good, good. Oh, Chan, Maddie, next year, if Grundy leaves Port Adelaide, you pick Grundy and Gorn. Oh, sorry again? If, if like, Grundy goes Grundy to leaves, Port Adelaide to yeah. like the South Australian club. Yeah, you go yeah. Grundy and Gorn in the ruck. I think you could. I think you will. I think I might. I think I how Because they're obviously averaging, for the last 20 games, they've all been averaging pretty crap. 215. Yeah. It's a gigantic size. They're just, there's just, the, the park's not big enough for both of them. It really isn't. Is it my imagination, or do we have the shittest primo midfielders this season in the AFL that I've ever seen? Ever seen. Ever seen. Like, can, can compare You agreeing with me? Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen such a, like... Like a, a diverse pieces of crap, but they're all just young guns that, like, you still don't trust yet. Obviously, being a seasoned super coach player, when you see those cheras and libbers and things like that, you just don't think that these... Libbers are, like, over 30... I get it. But you know what I'm saying? But like, but but, but like, he's never been, like, he's never been that player really. It's more of the role change for Liver. That's it's why more he's of the role change exactly. Better this like, year, you know, because we're, we're not seeing McRae's, we're not seeing Took Millers for obviously reasons. We're not seeing, you know, the main superstars that we've saw for the last decade be in the top six. Like even you know Kelly, who else is like, you know, like Shuey and Gaff. They used to be really good players. Now, now, of, now, now, of, they're, now, they're, now they're like under 300,000. Yeah, I mean, so do bloody Boke and Pendles. But well, I know. Well, Pendles is still doing the Pendles. Oh, because I mean, he's still in the top one side. West Coast yeah. is a piece of shit. Actually, yeah. Gav had a good game coming off as, as, as a sub. sub. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's, there's just so many so many un, unfamiliar faces in the top 10 of the uh, of the midfielders. Now, what? speaking of uh, familiar faces, Matty, now I thought it was just too easy to do Geordie's Jets every week while you're up. So I'm just going to pick... One person who's having a trip down Mount Buller, and let's talk about it a bit then, Matty. And my premium, who's had a big trip down Mount Buller, 
Jezza Cameron. His jaw's broken, champ. You can't give him a break. Nah, so he's got a three-round average of 42.7, okay? Yes, sure, his draw got broken, but he's got a big trip down Mount Buller. He has. And he is now at a 3.51, and his break game is 125, Matt Sieves. He can go down to 3.30. I like him better than Hawkins. He's will be about 100K cheaper. Uh, Five-round average is 63. These caddies are going to need to win. I don't, like their, I don't like their run, though. Like They've obviously got they got Brisbane at the Gabba this week. They've got Fremantle, which is probably the one where they're going to... That's where you want to get him in. But they're at... So, at the, uh, Fremantle at... The Gabba. At Fremantle oh, no, no, at no. Gabba. Brisbane at the Gabba. Fremantle at um, GMS. That is 100 for every yeah, that's what I'm saying. player. Oh, and no. then they've got Port Adelaide at the same venue. And then they got Collingwood. Down at Geelong. So, they've got a tough run. Like, obviously, the last four games coming into the finals, Port, Collingwood... St. Kilda Bulldogs, all respectfully top four and top eight type teams. These are not necessarily players I'm telling you to bring in. These are just players that I wanted to let you guys know. They're going to trip down Mount Buller. And these are premiums on the slide. And I'll be giving you every week a premium on the slide, regardless well, Jeff, of their draw. Honourable mention at the moment. Like, I know Josh Kelly played a full game last week and he got a 23. So he could potentially, he's just lost another what? Forty-seven thousand dollars. Well, the week. reason why I don't think he's on the slide is because he's got Gold Coast this week, and I don't think he's going to lose that much more money. Well, his break even is one hundred and seventy, so let's just say he does get a nice ninety-five. He's going to go down another thirty-five k. So you could potentially pick up a Josh Kelly. It would be nice to have trades at this time. Oh yeah, so a Josh <laughs> Kelly at five hundred thousand would be pretty good on the way home because their run is pretty. Yeah, Gold Coast, Bulldogs, Sydney, Port, Essendon, Carlton. But my um, counter-argument is, Matty, getting Josh Kelly an injury-prone absolute... You only need him to play. Like, like, obviously, if, if you say, hey, if, you know, knowing that Josh Kelly is... Josh Kelly's more likely to string five games, you know, together than he's going to string a whole season. Well, there's be more... Like, someone at a similar price, I would rather get the other person who's more likely to string five games together than Josh Kelly is. Mm, well, we'll see how At this is. time of year, and even next year... Make those better. risks, champ. No risks. Risks. <laughs> no risks. How are you going to... Safe. Safe playing. Especially the guys that are... Uh, it's going to separate the boys from the men, champ. All right, Matt Teeves. Now, what are we doing now that uh, Josh... Uh, Jeremy Cameron's had a nice trip down Mount Buller? Do you want to talk about some rookies? We could talk about... Because we've got to get some money in if we're going to get all these players yeah, for the trades we don't have. That's right. <laughs> now... I got S Banks from Richmond, dual position in the back line. I think that DPP is pretty handy. Jay Penis from uh, Saint Kilda. Saint Kilda, yeah. Penis is. <laughs> I second that Jay Penis too. Yeah, and uh, I think Penis is just a really tough unit, and you got to get him in. Yeah, <laughs> and he's got a sixty-three. Cuba Harvey, Matt. Seems you just to be... wanted to keep on saying Jack Jay Penis. All His actual name is Paris. I know what his name is. Oh, okay. I know what his name is, Shane. Yeah, why does it say penis? Because you want to talk about... You see, you said penis so many times. It today. says penis in the graphic. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> the small things in his small minds. He just loves little Jack penises. Anyway, <laughs> Wagner, he's 1-6, uh, but I like his job security better. He's obviously... Two. Young's not even in the team. Young doesn't come in and replace Wagner. Wagner's, oh, Wagner had a big big hype at the start of the year. They obviously liked oh, him. Oh, yeah, and he obviously he was, liked him. Played two, one game. He was <laughs> injured. He's played one game <laughs> since, but anyway, shit. who gives a shit, Jaws? These all the rookies. Obviously, I reckon still go for the 102 rookies. If you've got more than three trades to get one of these players in, then you're doing better than anyone else as far as trades. All right, so, would you, so you would get it Cooper Harvey? Yeah, probably. You wouldn't get Jay Paris or no, Penis, whatever no. you want it. No, no. No, I wouldn't. Jaws, I don't know why. Now, Matt Seeves, let's talk about some. <laughs> let's get the Jay Penis off your mind All right, and talk about Tim Englishes. Chad, what do you want to talk about, Tim Englishes? Because we're going to talk about the captain's options. We're now, an arsehole. And I think, I think Tim English, I don't think Draper's ready, so it's going to be Tim English mm. versus Nick Bryan. First game. <laughs> Chad, that's... I think that's a pretty safe ice captain option, Matt Seeves. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think... But there's also bonds. There's obviously there's merits as well. They could always do good. But I think the one most likely consistently to score well in this game is going to be Tim English because of his opposition. You know what's going to be fun? Hopefully it's the day that Tim English gets injured. It's even too late now, Matt. He's already struggling. He's done his damage. He's never had a full season before this oh, year. No. And he, let's it's, look what he's done. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, yeah, I can't disagree with some Englishers, obviously, number one pick, because this and don't really have a right. Bont, I'll play number two. Um, Merritt, yeah, probably number three there. Um, Taranto against Hawks, what did you think of that? No. no. Uh, he showed that he is not a worthy captain option against West Coast. He got under 29.5 disposals against West Coast, and um, he got 117, 119. 
but I don't think we can trust Toronto with any kind of VC. What about I, people with uh, good old Carlton players? I think, that, I think that's worth a look because it's down here. Eagles are a much worse side down here than Perth. If you've got a Crips or a Walsh and you want to make them vice captain, I'm pretty sure Terra might be sit this one out. I don't think they need to risk it as well. They need to risk it. So Terra's probably going to sit out this week. So I think there's going to be more CBAs for Walsh and Crips. I don't mind a VC on either of those guys to be perfectly Look at those odds, $1.01 for Carlton to beat West Coast. You, could you throw a tenner on West Coast and think You maybe, could, but you'll probably lose it. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. Um, yeah, I don't like anyone in that game either, champ. Um, Neil against Geelong, you love playing. I wouldn't touch it. You wouldn't touch it? I like a goal. Michael McConnell would probably be tagging. The Geelong yeah. tag has a lot to they got the They got Atkins and they got O'Connor sometimes rotating for the with Blitzards. Blitzards. So many options to tag. I don't think anyone playing Geelong is going to be re- ever, ever be a good option for a captain, vice captain option, Matty. Okay, fair enough. Um, what then, I do love, though. Yeah. Who would you, who would you go captain? <laughs> Obviously, okay, so we've got Bont and Tim English, who pretty much everyone has got. Yep. Um, who would the captain option well, if they fail? I heard Hinkley talk about tagging Dacos round two or three, and he went ballistic. Cool. And Dacos again has got. Uh, then he's, he's a really safe option because you know he's going to pick up a lot of the ball. I would prefer to avoid Dacos if possible, though. I'll I'll prefer to go the Carlton. We've heard Lerd's Le- got a bit of a niggle. Lerd, yeah. yeah. Um, did you call him Lerd? Lerd. Yes, good old Rory, L- Rory dude. It's <laughs> Rory Lerd. Yeah, anyway, so Rory's got a bit of a niggle. Uh, yeah, Lude's got a bit of a niggle, so I wouldn't be touching Lude. All right, and I so don't think I'd be touching him against Melbourne anyway, Matty. So. Yeah, straight on to Dacos then, okay. So Bont and Dakes then, which is what I've already got on my field. But Matty, some people with Petrarca will want to say, hey, what about Petrarca against Melbourne? Uh, Adelaide, he always kills him with Clary. Yeah, well, he's... I don't know if he's luck or not, but that he's role. kicked eight goals in the last two games and he's had 12 scoring shots in his last three. So he, he missed, missed the goals four times, but he... The scoreboard twice in a row for four goals each. Could he be getting 26 touches of four goals this time? Yes. Is it enough for captaincy? I don't know. I wouldn't put the captain on his role at all. No. I think we, that's enough about the captains, Matty. Okay, good. Now, who would you trade in if you had trades? <laughs> who would I trade in? Libertore. Libba? Yeah. That old stutcher. Don't you have enough old stutchers in your team? Nope. I don't. I've got, <laughs> I really don't, champ. I really need more. All right, Matty. Now... If you could do it this year again, what's like some mistakes you made? What's, thought, a, what's the number about, one mistake? I think about this every day I drive to work, towards. Really? All the time. Like, I feel like you imagine, take it like, like, too seriously. Like, imagine, if you, imagine in the back line that you started, because like, we traded in day glass. Don't we did. We, I know, know Maddie. I like, know. We traded in Dawson. So with him, really. Like, you know, like imagine if we had like Dawson, you know, day glass from, and Ryan from get go. Luke but Ryan. no one's going to start with Luke no, Ryan. No, like, where would your season be if you did? You I know? think the big thing is with the shit and ruck. If you just like, I had wits. Started with wits, got him out, got in Darcy, we're brought we're back not. in wits. We're not. I had wits. Yes. Now, what happens if I just didn't get wits and started with English? Champ, I would probably. You think be your in the run top was bad? 20. I had. Uh, <laughs> My run is bad. I started with Stewart. I, I had wits. Went to Grundy. Grundy went to Peanut. Peanut like. Jules, come on. Like, Maddie, you didn't have Tom Stewart, and you got you were thirteen on the field, the round one of Super Coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it is what it is, champ. <laughs> it is what it is now? Okay. It is what it Think is. Think Camp's playing so you can put him on the field. No, he's not, is he? Yeah. Well, he's... Who, who am I going to take off? You've he's... got so many duds. You've got to take off Chera for starters. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, your number one mistake of the year that you've learned from, what are you going to do differently next year, Matty? Go with my mid-price madness. <laughs> Get more cotchins. More cotchins and more <laughs> Carl Amons and Hawkins. I reckon we're at um, a max quota of Hawkins. I don't want to see another fucking Hawkins in your okay, price cool. matters, man. Right. I maybe am you sick to my maybe stomach. Maybe you should give me a rule not to use the same ones that you did last week. Yeah, but if, like, Hewitt was a good one, so I could let you use Hewitt again. He's yeah. a 2 6. He's like almost, no, he's like, you know, like Alwyn Davy ish. Price. Price. Get, you know, yeah. give or take. Give or take a couple of thou. Oh, well, since you're not answering my question, I'll answer it. I would not get 102k rookies that are going to play one game. But like, how do we know? I think it's pretty obvious. Because I knew that Buller was a, this, maybe just going in for Buddy Franklin while he was out. Jamie, you know Buller smashed it this week at the reserves. Did he? Yeah, and Matt Roberts got 28 touches. So they could come in. Yeah, Buller's not coming in, Matty. You don't why... know, champ. You don't know. And if he does, he got 17. 17 of the best. Super age point you ever And seen. another thing, Matty. Where yeah. do you need cover? Are you going to have, have a full team this week? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you need cover? It doesn't matter. You I can, can't it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm already Matty. dead. Yeah, I am. 
<laughs> uh, I think it was uh, trading in injury prone players for me was one of them. Um, mm. I always said not to, and I said I made a stern rule this year not to get Yo and Fife. And at least I stuck by that because absolute stupidity to get yeah. them to. But I did trade in Darcy, and I know Darcy always misses footy, and I got Sean Darcy, and he went out injured. I think Decan's also on the Never Again list as well. I think so too. After that, um, George, it is what it is. I think I'm not going to get Tom Mitchell again, even though like, what uh, I can't do is it. he too old? You're getting oh, managed? Really too it is, because if he wasn't old, he wouldn't be getting managed. It's exactly all this conversation we had at the start yeah, of the year. I'm thinking he's not even in the best four in the midfield group. Like the midfield. He is in the best. They're just giving him a rest because he's old. Well, sometimes... Like Pendles, they sub Pendles off because he's old. They started Mitchell as a sub because he's old. They didn't do it with Dugowie because he's young. They didn't do it with Dacos because he's young. And then we're going to have this discussion next year about the oldies and the youngies yeah. again. Oh, champ, it's going to be a me. I can't wait. The Bonds versus the McCrae's. <laughs> yeah, the Bonds versus the McCrae's. Oh, that McCrae's role just really shitted himself, didn't he? Yeah, absolutely. It all depends on the CBAs. All right. I think I'm pretty done, Maddie. What do you want to talk about? I want to see. Let's just have a look. I just want to have a look at something that... Let's do a few right. tips. Okay, no, no. Let's, I want to ask a question. Let's just do some, some alternatives for next year. Yeah, sure. Man. Okay, champ. Would sure you... Thing, buddy. So these are a couple of boys that haven't played all year this year. Champ, would you pick up Nat Nui? Is no, that, is that no, Nui's no. Name? All right, Braden Pruce coming back in. No. He's 500,000. He's done. He's so Bruce just the number one ruckman. Oh, look at all these old farts. Jed Anderson, champ. Jed Anderson's not going to no. play footy again. Zach Williams, he is no, not injury prone, prone whatsoever. Seedsman, maybe. Um, there's Seedsman, you think? Yeah, okay. Seedsman will probably be about 300,000 next year. He could be... Maybe. Maybe, maybe. maybe. He's okay. He's, keep an eye on. he's a bit too old. Uh, Mengali, champ. He no, is th- injury he's, prone. No, he's going to be no, two hundred thousand no. dollars. Wow, he's thirty-five or something. No, no, uh, no. N- Nakai Cockatoo's got to have a game. No, he doesn't. No, <laughs> yeah, no, he doesn't. Um, who else is on this list? Baku Kamas. He used to be a superstar. Uh, I, he never used to be a superstar. He's a young kid, and he was never. Cooper Stevens, champ. He still hasn't got a game yet. Yeah, I don't think he will. You don't think he will? Um, champ. So I it's think Hickens for next champ, year. Champ Co- Caulfield. You, you, Nick Caulfield. Mm. Yeah, Nick Caulfield. He was he was big 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 uh, big raps. Big raps this and week. If he's still That's injured, which he still is, I don't think he's getting a game. What about March Bank, Matty? A couple of years hasn't got a game this year. He just can't get onto the park. Okay, what about Large Tats's champ? He's going to be a good rookie he, pick. Well, I reckon he'll get a game this year. Hopefully, oh, let's hope not. Um, oh, Andrew McPherson, my our boy at the start of the year. Didn't he retire? <laughs> no, <laughs> no he, that was something else. No, 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 that was someone else. Uh, who else we've got on the list of people that are going to be very cheap for us next year? Um, all these hundred two thousand, they are not. There's not many. There's not much. Because, uh, you know, obviously we already knew about Hopper last year, and you know Setterfield not getting games, but there's not going to be those cheapy premiums. How fun was a Setterfield? It was meant to be a couple of a four week injury or something. Oh, he's, seen him I think he died. Um, <laughs> Champ, what about... Okay, here we go. Here's some of the good stuff that we want to look at. All right, at. guys, this is the Maddie's... This the cheapies for next year. The cheapies for, the guys for, the cheapies for next year. We're already going ahead. There's no one really good, champ. I think we just need to go on who our picks are going to be for this week. I'm looking at... All right, let's just get on to that, mate, because Maddie can't find anyone good. We, Thanks are, for we, are, we are in a lot of trouble <laughs> for next year. No, nah, I like it even more. So it's going to be guns and rookies. Guns and rookies. Essendon Bombers. Essendon Bombers versus the Dogs. I like the dogs. Me too. Richmond versus Hawthorne. MCG. I like Richmond. Me too. Carlton versus West Coast. We're going Carlton. Yes, Carlton. Lions versus Cats at the Gabba. We like the... Ooh, I don't know. I reckon the Cats. Gonna Lions, don't be back in. Happy days. Port versus Pies at Adelaide. What do you think, George? I don't think Butters is going to play. So I think Collingwood. Good. I'm glad you said that. I also want Collingwood to win. I don't care what you want. What do you think? I want Collingwood to win. Okay. Fremantle versus Sydney at Fremantle. They are both in really shit form, aren't they? Sydney's not too bad. Sydney, it's literally 14th versus 15th. They're both in really shit form. Um, Probably Freo. Mm, I'll go Sydney. Um, That's a very... uh, uh, Sunday, Matty. Giants are looking pretty good. Giants versus Gold Coast. Giants are looking really good, and that boost, that that win would definitely put their confidence up over Adelaide. Sure. Uh, I'll go Giants as well. Yeah. Um, Melbourne versus Crows. I'm going to go Melbourne. Yeah. Uh, That's down here. And Saints versus North. Upset, North. Saints look so bad. Worse than North Melbourne? Against Wolf, I'm going to smash by Hawthorne. There's, there's, there's always a Sunday upset. And there's never week. a Sunday upset. It's always a this Sunday. This week. There's always a Sunday upset. All right, Maddie, can I go home now? <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to go home. You know what? I don't like that. I just want to stay for 
forever. I don't want to stay forever, champ. This is you don't want me here. This is super coach. This is this is what defeated. <laughs> this, this is what the this is what this is what defeated people. Uh, don't touch me. You're wrecking the the quality. Oh, sorry, yeah. George. I can't even be fucked on contestants. Yeah, I'm not even too. Oh, yeah. Tom Mitchell. No, 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 no. When you pay me my money. You don't, uh, you don't deserve it. Yeah, I did because I was smarter than you about Tom Mitchell. Top eight midfielder. Oh, Chad, but idiot. you know, like I'm going to ever pay you any oh. bets. I'm such a scumbag. You can know that by now. Such a scumbag. I hate that. Oh. Alright guys, uh, every, every... <laughs> if you tuned in, good on you, and if you did, you're probably doing better than us. So, well, yeah. I feel like our advice was so good this year, I just never take my own advice. Definitely. I should have said, I should have let everyone know about that, Clayton Ola. I should have said it out loud, no one would have picked him. You picked him. Because I'm an idiot! I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you guys on the next one, if we ever do it. I'm only doing this for the kids sons and uh, all the viewers, Manny. Uh, <laughs> 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 Say it's